welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be telling you guys what to do when you're bored, like arts and crafts that you can do. So I've actually listed some of them in my art book. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So I just put it in there so I will show you guys what you can do. I have some very interesting idea. I'm not sure if you guys think it will be interesting or not. But yeah, so let's get started. So one of the ideas that I thought at is use a broken or like old which is actually broken so like a broken shuttercock to make something out of it do you have any ideas of how to make it i actually have one already so i'm gonna give you the example first <laughs> so here it is here's what it looks like after i have customized it <laughs> or like change it up a bit so you probably already know how to make it but this is actually very easy but it's nice to make so yeah first you can start by putting like this As you can see this is how short it is from this part like this so it's until there yeah so you have to cut it until here dirt not there So I'm gonna fold this in speed so 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 you guys will not need to wait for so long because I actually did that like for so long. So yeah. So after you are done with this, you take your scissors and like cut this part off. I'm gonna get my scissors first. So you Oh my god, my whole camera just shook. So, just take one part of this, cut it carefully. Just cut that off. You can trim it later. So, you just cut them off first. I'm just gonna skip the whole part of this. So, yeah. After you, so after you cut finish off the feathers, you can see it's not like flattened. So you have to trim off them as I just just now. <laughs> okay, so just trim off them out like this, which is kind of hard to trim actually. Okay, kind of about like this. So I just cut carefully. Try to not like cut this part because like they might they might damage it. If you damage it, then it would literally just break. So yeah, try to not cut it there. I'm gonna leave this here. Like totally nothing happened. Okay, um, um yeah, okay, let, let me trim it. So after you're done cutting, which is actually really hard, my whole hand is red now. It looks sore. <laughs> okay, um so the first thing you need to do is like add a layer of white over this. I normally use acrylic because I don't have the other paint so I just use acrylic to coat it so yeah so first I'll be using this acrylic paint <laughs> acrylic paint so yeah acrylic paint just open it this is actually a new one so yeah I'm just gonna cover over it get your acrylic and you put it on your palette you probably already know this and it squeeze out too much I kind of wasted it but I'll use it later so just cover top part as you can see it's really dirty you need to make it white and be careful not to cover the black line also or if you don't want a black line, you can just cover it. Of course. <laughs> ah, I just took everything over. I'm just gonna clean it up a bit, then I'm gonna let you guys see. I think this paint is a little too watery. It's gonna mix it a bit, so yeah. Um, and just use a medium brush. And use like a big brush. Which is why I did wrongly now. Right now, so wash it again. Use a 
medium brush which is number 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 what I don't know which, I cannot see it it's a very weird number can you see it it's it's kind of weird <laughs> Just cover it with the white paint. Yeah. You can color it, finish, and then you guys see actually. So this is what the first coat looks like. I need to wait for it to dry first. And I'm gonna do a second coat and see. So like this is the first coat Okay so actually I, I forgot to say Actually if you use like poster colour for the top part it would be better So yeah sorry So I just cover the top part with poster colour Not acrylic Acrylic we use it for the bottom This I'm not sure what they call So yeah Cover of this part. I think we are about done. Oh no, I just <laughs> covered the black part. I, I, I DK what that is called so yeah mm. can wipe it with your cloth or something like tissue so I'm just gonna clean it up and and yeah okay so the top part is done even though it's not dry yet uh, so I've cleaned this part up with my hand is already full of white for some reason I'm gonna clean it a bit more actually okay it's done now we need to use acrylic for this part like this whole part not that part that part is like a bit like more more like cloth so it like it will suck the water up so it's better to use poster color and for this bottom part it is not it's like waterproof and stuff so you have to use acrylic paint and okay yeah or if you color the poster color it will just like wipe up so yeah I'm gonna color in acrylic now so yeah so after everything is dry, like finally I wait for so long for some reason. Um maybe because there's like not really much the fan is like not right here. So like this basically it's really hot <laughs> kinda. So yeah. Maybe I don't know. So I'm gonna color it like a galaxy again. Not like again, but yeah, it's not like again. <sighs> Anyways, it's not again. I'm just gonna cover this with black. Color this black. It's still not really dry actually, to be honest. Uh, and I'm gonna color some purple in now. Wait for a bit. <laughs> I need to color it like finished. So that is fully colored. I'm gonna put like cloth here. This cloth is really dirty. Okay, can put it there now. 
So I'll put some purple. Do you like purple? Comment down below. I love purple actually. It's my favorite color. Along with some others. But yeah. I'm gonna like blend it with the black so like it's together not like just separated and stuff No, the table. Okay, it's just one blob which made the whole table black, but whatever. Okay, so. Now we're going to color blue finally. It's gonna close everything in case it goes dry. <laughs> It's totally clean now. It is clean though. Um, next. I'm just get a dirty it again. Because if I dirty it again, then I have to do the whole thing again. It's so annoying. Because it doesn't dry properly. It takes like so long. Put some blue. Mix it with the purple so it looks nicer. You can see the white is not like fully dry, so you can see that it's mixing with the white. It's kind of weird actually. Oh no, it's dripping to the purple. I think it's gonna be real dirty now. And that white, I never cover it properly. Just imagine you cannot see that. Um, yeah. Now, lastly, the white. Just like a little bit of white at the top. Then it appears. So we're done with this, which looks really weird actually. I think I'll spray some gold on it. I, like put it on, not spray because I cannot spray anything. So yeah, I'm just gonna like put some on it. Oh shit. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. So like, I'm gonna do it after the video actually. 
So it looks like this, which I don't want to let you guys see because it looks really weird. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it like this. It kind of looks like this. Okay, so yeah. Um, this looks actually really weird. Um, so next one, this actually took me really long already. Like already, it took like half an hour already. Me so much time. Next one, we can make flowers when you're free. In your free time, you know, like yeah. I like making flowers. They're like nice and stuff. <laughs> this looks actually really wet, you know. So yeah, next one we're going to make flowers. You can make any type of flowers. I'm gonna teach you guys different type of flowers is like different type of flowers so yeah uh example is like roses or like sunflowers or just like can like make it any color like any color so you need like color paper and a scissor and glue also so yeah you, you can choose to make a 3d one or like a 2d one so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna clean finish this and we'll start with that. Okay, so this is the rose that I have. So you can, can see the sides are like curved. I really like this rose to be honest. <laughs> Looks really cute and nice. And flip your paper horizontally. Then fold it in half. After you fold it in half, just cut it. You cut it in half also. So you cut it. So I cut it, then you just take one of the papers and fold it in half and fold like a triangle in the side this one is like covered I guess it's like folded so it's like not the open side so it's like a triangle now yeah that side and you fold it to another triangle Fold it and you get the other side of the triangle and then you get the other side and you fold it as a triangle again so you did that and take the other side fold it to the back of the paper fold it like that Okay, then you repeat the same thing again for this cutting but now you will cut out the petal the shape of the petal first so after you have done that then you will get two petals and just repeat the folding on the other paper so after you have done that just take your one because you have to be the same size so just take one and like cut out the outline of it so it will be the same size so you just do it like that so now you have four petals And for the first petal, you cut out one petal, not petal, I mean flower. For the first flower, you cut out one petal. And I accidentally tear it a bit just now. <laughs> um, then you get your second flower and make it to two petals. Cut out two petals, I mean. And of course, for the third petal, you will cut out. For the third flower, you cut out three petals. Why keep saying petals? Okay, so you cut out three petals. And for the fourth one, of course, you cut out four petals. So there's eight petals. So you just cut out like half of it, and it will be four petals.
Now you just take the one petal piece of flower. So you take the one petal and like make it curve there. So you hold and roll it down. So you get that. And to the side of it, as you want to see in the middle, and uh, you just get the other side of there and just roll it down. So you did that and you get your two petal one and like fold the sides too. So hold and roll down, hold and roll it down, then you get a curved side and you hold the corner of it and then like roll it down as the same thing as the first one. It's the one petal one and i just do it together because like faster so i don't have to do it again so yeah i just roll it in the middle of it <laughs> i just do it off camera and you can put like uh, glue to help you stick it so it doesn't come out i mean i do that if you don't want to it's okay Then you get your three petal one and you just stick it first then you will do the curved side thingy to make it like curvy so it looks nicer and more realistic so we just do that and stick it first and you get two petals now because you stick it and yeah And you just fold to the back side part, hold and roll outwards, not inwards. <laughs> it's outwards, just fold it outwards, and you repeat the same step for the others too. So you just do like this. And you repeat everything after you're done. You can cut a hole at the bottom so it's easier to like put um put the petals all together in and I normally have put like some glue in there so it's like easier. So I've like fit it in so I tried like you can fit it or not so then I only put it the glue. So now I'll put I'm putting the glue. I just put it in, then I'll just continuously add the others in. So yeah. gone already because I was like taking it so it kind of like become like more flatter I guess so I'll just do it again with the toothpick this toothpick will be easier if you use like a skewer it's too long so it might be hard to like do that so yeah For the inside part, you just do the same and 
take the glue and put it in. Now this one I think I made it a bit too small because for the one that I did before it's kind of big and it looks nicer. So yeah, you can like put it in bigger if you do it like too small like me. So yeah. And that's what the roses look like together. You can use different colors too actually. You can make like a flower crown out of it, which is kind of really hard to be honest. So yeah. Okay so guys that's it for today and yeah I'm gonna go edit my video now because like there's a lot of to a lot of things to edit. It's kinda long just like two but it's kinda long so yeah yeah okay um bye guys stay safe i hope you enjoyed this video so yeah bye bye